Atmos Energy maintains more than 80,000 miles of gas transmission and distribution pipeline. That's enough pipeline to go around the Earth's equator more than three times. And because some of it is steel pipe and subject to the harmful effects of corrosion, we have to take steps to protect it, or it could end up looking like this. Cathodic protection, protecting our pipeline. That's the subject of this edition of Natural Gas 101. Today I'm in Amarillo talking with Scott Fussell, who is the Corrosion Control Coordinator in the West Texas Division. Scott, what does the Corrosion Control Department do? Well, Terry, our department designs and installs and maintains cathodic protection systems on all of our transmission distribution piping, as well as all the above ground structures, tanks and meters. And uh, one of the reasons we do this is to comply with state and federal regulations, as well as extend the life of our facilities. Corrosion can be reduced and eliminated by adding coating to the pipe and by applying cathodic protection. So Scott, how is cathodic protection accomplished? Well, Terry, we can accomplish it a couple of different ways. We can either do it by attaching sacrificial anodes to the pipeline or by putting impressed current onto the pipe. So you, you say anode, sacrificial anode. This is an anode? Right, what an anode is, it's just a metal bar uh, could either be magnesium or zinc and what makes it work is uh, the potential difference between mag magnesium and zinc causes current to flow. When you bury it down next to the pipe and attach it to it, current flows from the anode through the ground and onto the pipe, protecting the pipe and it's sacrificing itself for protection. So this pipe though has coating on it, so why does it need cathodic protection? Well, even though coating probably gives it 90 percent of the protection. There's always imperfections from the coating plant, damage when it's shipped and handled when it's installed into the ditch. So the cathodic protection is actually concentrating on protecting those exposed places on the pipe. And you talked about the impressed current system. Tell me a little bit about that. Right. Uh, it works a little differently than the magnesium anodes. Uh, you have graphite anodes instead of magnesium. And uh, what we do is we drill a hole down to where we want good formation where the current will flow through the ground good. And in this case, it's 450 foot deep. We have 12 of these anodes down in the hole. They're all on individual leads. They come up and come up to this junction box over here. So this is the junction box. That's right. So you've got 12 anodes in the ground and all of those wires are coming up and they're connected here. That's correct. That way it gives you an opportunity to monitor each one individually if you want to, to see if they're operating correctly. They come up through this one cable up to the rectifier and uh, what you have is AC currents coming down this pole into the rectifier. The rectifier is converting AC to DC, which is the current that we're wanting to use for protection. It's forcing that current down through these anodes, out of the anodes, into the ground. It travels through the ground and collects on the pipe travels down the pipe and returns back to the rectifier. It just makes that circuit continuously. So the idea is as long as you're putting current onto the pipe and none of it's leaving, then you achieve protection. Now how do you monitor whether the cathodic protection system is working? Well, you take a voltmeter and a half cell and you go take readings all along the right of way and uh, take readings at you know, predetermined places on the pipe. Although cathodic protection costs are high, the cost to protect the pipe is small compared to the price of replacing the pipe once it has deteriorated. Plus, the application of cathodic protection has greatly reduced the number of leaks to the Atmos system. Even though we can't see it, cathodic protection is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure that our 80,000 miles of pipeline is capable of safely transporting natural gas to our customers throughout the enterprise. When it comes to the safety and reliability of our system, Scott and other employees are making sure that it is more than just a pipe dream. For Natural Gas 101, I'm Terry Briggs.